Need for Speed Underground 2, a game that brings all arguments about which game is better to a halt and unites the community because it's just fabulous. It's a game that makes even the most violent heuristics put down their keyboard axes and offer a handshake of agreement to the opposing team. But regardless of how great the game once was, it's aging quickly. I'll shock some of you, but at the time of recording this video, which is December 2022, this game is currently 18 years old. It's basically an adult and definitely older than half of the people watching this video. <laughs> no offense to the young bloods out there, we love you, just don't talk shit about the games you like. Anyway, with the game getting closer and closer to oblivion, it's only up to the community to keep it alive. And boy, have these guys outdone themselves. Look at this upcoming Need for Speed Underground 2 remake. <laughs> The lights, the city, the car, it all looks so nostalgic, yet so good. There are countless modifications, cars, hell, the game even tells you the G4 is your experience you get at any given time. Okay, stop, stop. To get a grasp of the whole story behind this remaster, we must first cast our memory all the way back to October 28th, 2021. That was the time when on a YouTube channel by the name of 2 Unreal 4 Underground, a video called What Is This appeared. And this is what they released. A 17 second footage of a city in the night with the Riders of the Storm remix in the background. The video description stated, As the GTA San Andreas remastered project is discontinued because of copyright problems, a new project arose. Here is a little hint, what could it be? Have a good time guys. Of course, the comment section went wild, and rightfully so. Over the course of the next half a year, more and more videos popped up on the channel, usually just tests and reports on how the development was progressing. Stuff like testing new car sounds, nitrous gauges, or the destruction model. As this game is being developed in Unreal Engine, which is a free game engine mostly aimed at indie developers, there have also been videos like these, where the creators are asking for help. Yeah, Unreal Engine is amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's also notorious for being buggy and sometimes really hard to navigate. But there's always the community to help you out, as seen in this case too. After publishing a bunch of random short videos, these guys put together a big one to represent their project. It's called Banging Through the City, and it's just an 11 minute video of a skyline, well, banging through the city. This video earned them a subscription from me, and I hope that from you too. And while you're at it, you can hit the subscribe button under this video as well. And it was at this time, in May of 2022, when various gaming websites published articles about the game. Like this one on the dark side of gaming. It also went on Reddit, and the whole Need for Speed community that knew about this was getting excited. Some even gave up on Unbound and only kept on looking forward to this. But since May, no updates were released officially. No new videos on the channel, no, nothing. Until last week, when they dropped this banger. Customization, performance tuning, visual tuning, vinyls, and again, the sweet ride through the beautiful night city. It had everything the players wanted and more. And that more came in the way of the Discord server. On this Discord server, you can find all the links there are to find, an FAQ section where you can find out information like the game will be completely free, the vehicle simulation is quite more complex than in Underground 2, so you will have more parameters to tweak on the dyno, the game will have soundtracks from other Need for Speed games as well. Wow. And that got me thinking, who are the people behind this project? Well, there's only two of them actually. The first one, and the one that's publicly known, is Ivan Novozhilov. There isn't too much information about him online, apart from the fact that he's Russian and has the same name as a Russian ice hockey player. Uh, his YouTube channel is available in the links section of the Discord server of this project, and as you can see, it's not the tidiest place. <laughs> Granted, I'm not the one to talk. He posts various videos of vehicle simulations and mechanics in Unreal Engine, and also has a Patreon, where I believe he keeps the more complicated tutorials. The second dev's identity is unknown. Considering his Discord nickname Apfelbaum, which means apple tree in German, those five years of German in elementary school sure came in handy during this investigation, and the server's channels being in German, I reckon the other guy or girl is from Germany. She didn't have to cut me both of these two are university students, I reckon on the same university, developing this game in their spare time. But if you have one or two dollars you don't know where to spend, please check this buy me a coffee link on their discord server and support these guys. They're putting their hearts into a project that will warm the hearts of others. And they're doing it for free. Let's just hope that EA doesn't put a stop to this project. 
Moreover, you can just chat with people like you on the Discord server. There's even a channel where the devs and other people share the car models and fans give them feedback. You can just scroll through the server, satisfying your curiosity all day long. I like that there's this sort of transparency, which you don't usually see from most game developers. What do you think about this project? Let me know in the comments.